This is the day when uh, you ask questions and get the answers. And most of the time when things have not been well explained, they can when questions are uh, asked. So we are going to answer questions. You those four questions are these ones. The first question it says Ngo Ese ko twumva ngo abigishwa basangiraga ibyabo kandi ngo nta mukene wababagamo ni guta abakristo bagira bagira imibanire myiza hakabonekamo abakene it's us uh, we hear that uh, uh, the first disciples were sharing everything so how come uh, christians can have good relationships yet we still find poor people among them is the question clear is it clear where were poor people coming from how come people were poor Kandi itoro rya mbere barasangiraga ibyabo yet the first christians were sharing everything nibyiza ko dusobanukirwa bibiri ivuga iki it's good that we know and understand what the bible says kuri buri kintu on each and everything twizerera imibanire myiza so we, we we studied about good relationships twize byinshi mu mibanire myiza so we studied so many things harimo noneho nikingiki koko one of the questions, good questions we are asking ourselves, why do we find poor people among us? Let me answer this like this. So the first responsibility of the church, the first responsibility of the church is not to know the poor people is not to know the sick people it is not to know the rich those who went to school who studied but however in while we work minister sometimes we realize that we need to know each other. Let me go back to what we say. The first responsibility of the church. This is this one. To proclaim the good news of the kingdom of Jesus. And the principles. Amen. Transforming people into Jesus' disciple. So when we say the good news of Jesus. And we teach the church the principles of Jesus Christ. And we help people to be transformed into disciples of Jesus. That message, that gospel, that first responsibility of the church makes people be healed and transformed. They are healed in their hearts. They are free from all the bondage from the devil. They change the way they think. And makes most of the time that poverty those uh, sicknesses were coming from ignorance amen. say amen the first duty or responsibility given by Jesus is to teach all the things that Jesus had taught is to create all the ways that can lead the Christian to know the truth and after we leave the Holy Spirit so that the truth might free them in all domains so this is not something to amaze 
that someone may come into the church being poor I want you to hear this it's not only one or two or three times I've seen this I've seen a sick person a poor person someone ignorant about life coming in the house of God once he's been taught his life is transformed as you see it I would like you to tell this to also to others. So that I may help you now. Very often there are these arguments about uh, the church is not helping. First of all, even when the church is helping, you are not necessarily informed. It's possible that the church is helping but you don't know. But the first responsibility is to give people the riches of heaven. I'm agreeing with this. This is the Bible. That's why you should help people so it is very important to understand that it is not the first duty to the church to help the poor but uh, sometimes as you've seen in the Bible the first the person who came to the temple being lame he was he was told that we are going to give you what we've got we are going to help you so that you receive Jesus and you're going to be healed the biggest poverty or the greatest poverty he had was not about money but he thought that was he needed but they told him that is a very small problem there is something more important that you are lacking that is what the church does yes Hashim. praise Jesus and uh, sometimes we are going also to solve some other issues that people have got but uh, without uh, taking things in the uh, wrong order we start with priority yes, praise Jesus the second question it says can we say that there are good relationships in the church when some people when they are sick or they have different issues they are visited or they are helped and some others are not yes Hashim. amen those are very good questions and those are questions that are being asked and, and we, we, we face these problems I was sick and I was not visiting however the leader of our HBF came to see me the, uh, his, came only himself only I had the marriage and uh, I didn't see many people coming to attend. But there is such and such so who, came, who did his marriage as well, who had his marriage and the, many people attended. These are true questions. But I want to tell you where these come from. Now it's a duty, a responsibility to Christians to know each others. It's a duty to a Christian to visit each other. Now the responsibility of the church is to put a context or to put in place a, 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 a um, a context which is helping people to come and visit each other. Hallelujah. Amen. This is how it works. If a church has got 700 people, one person who is sick cannot be visited with all of them. But it's our duty as a church 
imikorere to put in place a way that those people can be reached would you like me to tell you uh, how Omega Church works about that? Yes. Yes. Omega Church dukora mu buryo bw'ikintu kitwa Home Bible Fellowship ni ukuvuga ngo amatsinda amateraniro yo mu mago yo mu matsinda matomato. So I'm sending it to you and to all those who are following us online. Omega Church works through Home Bible Fellowship. These are small groups. Koko because two or three pastors cannot know each all 700 Christians individually. There has to be a way. We see also that in the New Testament. People who would know each other in small groups would meet in, the, in their home. Bicho buritore riryo ribashije gushyira ho buryo bwo kumenya abakristo that way, if the church has, got put, has put in place a way that Christians are going to be known, every leadership of that church will know how that Christian got sick. That person where he's registered or he's known, the cell he's got to attend. It is the responsibility and the duty of the church, the leadership of the church, to know that the leadership of that cell takes care of those Christians. So that the Christian attending that cell, the leadership of Omega Church, this is an example. We, we are really confident that we know we, that this person is in good relationship with the people that he fellowships with we know that this person has a cell where he's registered to. and we know that the first emergency or the first aid has, has come to him we know that even though he's visited by three people in his cell if he's sick in a way that he does not have the mutual the son we should they are the one to know why this person has not got that if they realize that it is important that he, he gets it they are going to pay it. if they are poor all of them in a way that we are empowered to do it, they are going to tell to the leadership. To to the leadership. Now let's come back to the problem of visited by a few people. I hope the first one has been. Understood. Being visited by few people. A wedding which is attended by few people, many. Listen to this. Listen to this. Be in good terms with everyone. Be in good terms with other people. Don't think people will just raise, come for you when you don't know them. Dear guests, friends, and those who are online, be in good terms with people and those who are in church so that they know you. Don't wait to be known just because you needed them. If that's the case, you are going to see few people when you need them are going to, to accuse people that they did not come to look for you. But in a way, you are going to be having your own responsibility. I urge you in Jesus' name, when I will tell you to attend HBF or cell, Omega that is where we know people. That is where the first aid or the emergency is going to come to you when you need it. So I advise you, therefore, wherever you are, and whichever church you attend, be in good terms with people. Be known in all the structure that the church has put in place. Because there is a day where you will need them. So if 
So let's say people are attending a wedding and there are many of them. Ntabwo twebwe ubuyobozi bw'itoro ntabwo twe dutegeka abantu ngo nimufashe uyu nimukore ibi nimukore ibi. The chief of the church will not go tell people uh, be with this person and do not go attend to this place. Hari gihe bigaragara ko uwo muntu yabanye. Sometimes it's just a clear a visible to everyone how this person has lived with people. Hari gihe bigaragara uburyo uwo muntu yabanye nabantu. It's just a fact. You see it clearly. Icyagatatu. Third thing. Ese ni itegeko kwishyura ikintu cy'umuntu wangije cyangwa se wibye inshuro enye ni itegeko kwishyura inshuro enye iyo wibye ikintu cyangwa watwaye ikintu cy'umuntu is it a command to pay times four uh, something that uh, you have stolen from someone yes ashim praise jesus iki murabizi mu mibanire twakibonye iyo umuntu wamuhemukiye so this one we saw it in the good relationships when uh, you've uh, harmed or done wrong to someone mugusana imibanire so as you are restoring usaba imbabazi you ask for forgiveness ibi ni ibintu bya buri mu kristo this is for each and every christian mu buzima bwa wiga gusaba imbabazi in your life uh, you need to learn to ask for forgiveness iga guca bugufu uvuge ngo mbabarire to humble yourself and then say I beg your pardon. Naha byaturutse. This is where it came from. Twabonye Zakayo. We saw Zacchaeus. Zakayo akihura na Yesu. When Zacchaeus met Jesus. Umucyo kimugeraho. When the light came to him. Yamenye ko ari umujuru. He knew that he was a robber. Wubwe himself. Arivugira ati ubujura nakoze niyemeje kuri hakane abo nambuye. He said to what I have stolen I I I I resolute to pay times for what I have stolen from people. Ibyo bintu bituruka mu mategeko ya Mose mu isezerano rya kera. So this comes from uh, the law of Moses in the Old Testament. Mu mategeko yo mu mibanire myiza n'abantu. In the laws of good relationships with people. Mu isezerano rishya. In the New Testament. Ntabwo tugendera ku itegeko rya gukubakana. Do not go with this law of times four. Dukururamo principe cyangwa ihame imana yavugaga hari. We just fetch the principle from what God was saying. Ihame twigaga. The principle that we were studying. Nuko is that Iyo wahemukiye umuntu when you've done wrong to someone hari gihe there is time there is time ibyo wahemukiye umuntu what you've done wrong bishobora kuba byangije byinshi may have harmed so many other made many uh, collateral damage damage wowe ubwawe yourself mwoka wera the holy spirit ajora kukwemeza gusaba imbabazi can ask you and convince you to ask for forgiveness ibyanyeganyejwe nibyo wakoze what have been shaken by shaken by what you've done hari gihe biba ari ibintu bishobora kuba reparer cyangwa gusanika it is possible that it's something that can be restored birashoboka rero ko so it is possible that ibyo bintu bigaragara twatanze urugero rw'abantu bigeze ku ibi bintu nyuma ya genocide we gave a, an example of people who stole uh, the belongings of people after the genocide no you must can even up to now hari gihe byo watwaye it's possible that what you've stolen zaband belonging to other people umwuka w'Imana kugeraho the holy spirit comes to you akakwemeza yuko watwaye ibintu bitari byawe and convince you that you've stolen things that did not belong to you uretse no kujya gusaba imbabazi uwo wabikoreye put aside just going to ask for forgiveness usabwa ko wasubiza icyo gitanda you are also required to give back that I give that example because it is tangible. Biroroke kujya kuvuga umbabarire uziko burya mu nzu yawe narinjiye nteruri gitanda na frigo. It's easy to go to someone and then say you know what I came into your house and I took away the bed and the fridge. Warangeze ukisubirira igitanda na frigo bigakomeza bigakorera iwawe. Then you go back home and then you keep the fridge and the bed at your place. Ihame dukuramo the principle that you are getting out. Nibyiza gusaba imbabazi. Good to ask for forgiveness. Nibyiza gusaba Good, it's better even to give back. The only one person has clapped. <laughs> that is where Christianity can reach up to. There is another example we gave. Someone can do wrong to another person by saying things which has never been about reputation. And this is going to kill the reputation of that person. I'm not saying people. I'm saying the Holy Spirit. Even though the Holy Spirit works with people. 
come to, he can come to you yourself you can see things which were uh, harmed even just put aside asking for forgiveness think of the people who have been uh, uh, who are doing it because of what you've done imagine people have been contaminated it's possible you ask for forgiveness but those five people they will still be looking at that person they will keep be seeing that person the same way. you are seated knowing you are the one who did it all that only the Holy Spirit does the Holy Spirit convinces people about restitution so the Bible was not saying here times, 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 times. It was just saying restore what you've damaged. Yourself, the Holy Spirit is convincing you what have been damaged. Have you seen people who have divorced who are separated? There are a few cases I've heard, but I heard of them. After being saved, the wife will stand up and go back to the house. Or the man goes back to the, to, to, to the marriage. That is what I'm talking about. Normally, if the gospel comes to you and you know what is your part, your responsibility, if you want the blessings from heaven, full blessing, go back and damaged. Ask for forgiveness. But what can be repaired that has been damaged? Go back and restore it. Go back. Go back. Go back. Where you can go and repair what was bad. The last thing. If you've been, you've done business with uh, uh, brethren and then uh, he steals from you and it is really, it's a fact, can't you take him to court? Especially when you've done, the, you've gone to the elders council and this has not brought fruit. Can't you take this person to court? This is a good question. Allow us to read First Corinthians. We are going to read this. First Corinthians, Corinthians chapter six. It's very clear. There is one thing I love, brethren. The Bible is good. All the truth, everything. Even though the Holy Spirit has to reveal us some of the things that we But sometimes, if you take just the, script, the scripture, you take it scripturally, it's just going to heal you. Uh, he is brought to me uh, another version. Sometimes it's more, it's even clearer. Mwana Nanswa kuzichira abantu b'iki gihe bafite ibyo bapfa 
igiye mufite imanza nyizo kuki muzegurira abantu bimbura mu maro bari mu muryango bari mu kuki muzegurira abantu bimbura mu maro bari mu muryango wa Kristo ndivugiye kuba kozisoni ese no kuvuga yuko nta munyabwenge numwe uri muri mwe wabasha kunga bavandimwe ubwo baravuga bavandimwe muri Kristo talking about brethren in Christ ese atanabayeho birakwiye ko ko umuntu aburanye umuvandimwe we muri Kristo kandi bagacirwa urubanza nutemera Kristo eregizo manza mufitanye zirerekana ko ibyaha byabatsinze rwose kuki ahubwo mutakwemera kurenganywa kuki mutakwemera guhuguzwa ibyanyu ibiramambo nimwe murenganya mugahuguza abandi kandi muri abavandimwe ari abavandimwe banyu muri Kristo mbese ni muzi yuko abarenganya abandi batazabona umunani mu bwami bw'Imana kimukibeshye Inkozi zibiri nabasenga ibigirwa amana abasamba nyiringaragu cyangwa bubatse abasamba nabahuje igitsina abajura nabanyamururumba abasinzi nabatukana n'ibisambo abo bose nta munane bazagira mu bwami bw'Imana bamwe muri mwe niko mwari mumeze ariko ubu mwamaze kuhagirwa haleluya mugirwa intore z'Imana muba n'intungane mubikesheje nyagasani Yesu Kristo na mwuka w'Imana yacu mu mpere Yesu amashyi let's clap for Jesus Kristo banushye this is a self explanatory ngundu kuno abakristo bana b'Imana dukunda dusengera hari giye bashaka ko tubabwira ukundi kuri kutari muri bibiliya many people who are christians they want to hear another truth which is not in the bible ntabwo byemo deja muri ya version ya mbere yange guso bwo ngo deja no kuba mufitanye imanza ni kibazo even in the first version i was about to read it says already the argument you are having between you and wera yaravuze ngo no kuba mwene so nundi mwene bagira ni bibazo byo guhangana deja no kugwa byo ni kibazo Holy Spirit has said the fact that there are arguments between brethren is already a problem. It's I just want to tell you since from now. It's not good for people who are both brethren and they know they know Jesus to end up going I'm sorry. Both. I'm sorry you are no longer with God kibazo kinzi umwene data yabajije yaravuze ngo ese ni twakwigira mu rukiko none se nibi nteko yabakuru murabizi impamvu avuga inteko yabakuru barabivuga koko intera twabonye zo gukemura ibibazo bigomba guhera mwene so kuri mwene so the good question here that was asked is to know because the, the person is asking is that he's gone to the elders council and this is one of the steps that we have learned to go through Oh yeah, mini data kuri mini data. Step number one. Step one. Step number one is one to one. Ya kuna ni ugaha magarabandi wabiri. The person is not agreeing with you. You are call to other people. Ya wana ni ra mukabashira itoriro. And if this does not go past that, and you go to the elders council. Deja kujira ngo mini data. Ugira ni kibazo na mwene so kigende kigera aho no kuvuga ngo kiri serie so if you have a, an issue with your brother your brother that is going past all those steps it means that is very serious ariko uziko bibiri ivuga ngo yabigeze mu itorero but you know the bible says that when this has come to church itorero twebwe ntano muri omega itorero rya nyuma ni inteko yabakuru so like here in omega the last step is the elders council kugira ngo kibazo cyabo kigere mu nteko yabakuru so that your issue goes up to the elders council nuko ngo izo steps zibazananiranye zindi means that all other steps has failed aho rero no finale that is the final ubundi bibiri iravuga ngo the bible says umuntu nani yabo bantu bitwa itorero if someone has failed all those steps called the church bibiri iravuga ngo niba nananiranye ahinduka umupagana the bible says if If this uh, is uh, this uh, person has failed all those steps is going to be considered as uh, a gentile pagan i want to tell you it's not the church calling him so. it's not even someone calling him so 
ikibazo cyo bakristo ibintu tubireba mu mubiri the problem of our christian we look things with our own eyes ariko mu isi y'umwuka but in the spiritual world uwo muntu kumana babaye n'umupagani is person to god is a pagan no no tugaruka kuri izi business z'ababa now let's come back now to this business of these people kugira ngo binanire muri iyo nteko the fact that it, it has failed that in this elders council aba bantu d'office babaye abapagani already these people have become pagan they don't have the holy spirit there is nothing they are going to be the, the bible has says cannot you accept so that things be taken from you so that instead of staying will you will you go in all these steps and the holy spirit will fail to tell you accept to lose it instead of having so many noise are you still following this one was not asked but let me say it do you understand why there are so many women still in the marriage yet they are being uh, uh, they are having hard, hard time in their way <laughs> talk about also men men filled by the holy spirit women filled by the holy spirit that is where the secret the way they did not divorce biraruhije kubyakira difficult you cannot just accept it and welcome it easily but this is the truth of heaven niko kuri ko mwijo that is the truth nuko uvuga ngo hari uwemera guhara it means there is someone who is accepting ubu kristo bwe bukagera ahantu bumubwira ngo ihangane at the point is just the christianity in him is going to tell him ubu kristo bwe bukagera ahantu bumubwira ngo ndakurwanirira guma hamwe i'm going to fight for you just stay steadfast ariko hirinda kubaho induru but there should not be much noise aho ni huje muri imana rivuga ngo ariko muri mwe nta numwe ushobora guca bugufi pe that is where the bible says among you no one can just humble him nta numwe koko bene data babiri nta numwe wakwemera gukora nka watsinzwe ariko yanga induru among two person no one is going to accept to lose just to avoid noise ese nta numwe wahitamo kuvuga ngo niba ari nibyanjye babitware aho kugera imana ntikunda induru bene data no one is going to say even though it is for me let it go but god does not like imana ntikunda imanza it does not want arguments among us bibiliya tugira ngo imana yacu ni imana ya ordre the bible says that our god is a God of order. It is not a God of uh, mixtures and uh, everywhere where there can be problems. There might be that we have not humbled ourselves. That is uh, we should have at least one saying okay it's fine I'm going to accept to lose even though I'm going to be seen. This is why Paul was saying why can't you accept to lose? Can't you can't accept to lose something that you know is for you? instead of having so many arguments? Are you getting what is being Church of Christ are you Nshimiyimana I thank God who has allowed me to talk about men and women. This is where God does not like this kind of argument. Zirangirira kubatazi nibyo bariho bababuranye. We are going to end with the people who do not even know what it happened. It started from the spirit. Ni bene data babiri. Two people. Birangiriye ku munyeshuri mwigano dakizwe. And it says ended to your fellow Hello, uh, classmate who is not saved the person you telling is not saved the one we are telling is your mother who does not even know the law of the one who has gone to end the argument is your uncle your uncle 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 <laughs> So it is ended with someone who does not know who is opposing who. Yes, I should
Ndi ya mbabwire. I want to tell you. Inzu y'Imana ni yera. The house of God is holy. Iyo mvuga inzu y'Imana simvuga. I'm not talking about this place. Ubuzima bwa Kristo. The life of Christ. Bujya budusaba sacrifices zirenze urugero. They can ask us sacrifices so which are Umwuka wera w'Imana. The Holy Spirit of God. Yakubwira ngo iyo business yawe. May tell you that business of. Hakugira ngo urwane na mwene so. Instead of fighting with your brother. Murapfa mafaranga wamugurije. The argument is about money that you Na na he's not he's even forgotten about that. Oh, maybe he doesn't care. Yeah, I don't know how much he's taken out of that. That is just in the eyes of God. God can see. So everything requires that we keep and we guard our heart and we take it to the presence of God. May Jesus bless us. Can you stand up so that we pray I ask blessing for you and myself? We've been studying about good relationships. As you are standing, I'm going to ask you something. When, when we study this part of the Bible, it's really sweet that it's a pity that you are late. I really beg you to come on time. It asks it from God. I want to come early so that I can. Many of you maybe have heard things that you don't know where to come from. Here we have Bible study in the morning. May God bless all of us together. You put your hand on your heart. We've heard about relationships is can be difficult. It requires that you deny yourself. Humble yourself and be a Christian. Humble yourself and walk into what Jesus wants more than what you want yourself. We are going to pray God. We are going to ask God to enable you to be in good relationship not pleasing them but pleasing God fearing God and uh, trembling into his presence we kugira ngo dushobore kubigenderamo ese mana twagendera mu byo tutazi twakubaha ibyo tutazi twabitunganya tutabyumva ese twubyumvise nti tubyiteho umugisha twahubona dute duciye bugufi imbere yawe tugusaba ngo duhe kubana neza mwana duhe kubanira abantu tureba wowe dushaka icyo uvuga tugendera mu cyo uvuga mwami tuyobowe n'icyo ushima n'icyo ushaka Duhe mwami imana ishobora byose kugendana nawe mukuri mwami ndasengera bene data bashobora kuba bari hano bakaba bafite imibanire itari myiza nabandi kandi bakaba batazi cyo bakora bakaba batazi n'uruhare wenda bafite bakaba batazi n'uburyo babigarura mwami imana ishobora byose ndasenga ngo umwuka wa wera bagereho ubacira inzira ubabwira ijwi rya weriza ryoroshye amategeko yawe ntaremera iyo uvuze mwami imana uradushoboza ndasengera mwami imana nabo ngabo barangije kubona icyo bagomba bene data bagasanga bagomba kurestitua bagasanga bakwiriye kugenda mu kuri bagasanga bakwiriye kugenda uko wa uvuga kuruta uko bo bashaka mwami imana abo nabo bashoboze twese tugirire neza dushoboze mwami imana kwemera gutanga igitambo gikwiye kugira ngo mwami dushyire hejuru abandi tuzamura abandi kandi amahoro abeho ndasengera ingo ziri hano nizinkurikiye mwami imana ndasenga ngo ubu butumwa mwami bubagezeho mwami bubashoboze gutekanira mu mago yabo mwami gucira bugufi ijambo ry'Imana gucira bugufi ukuri kw'Imana kugendera munsi y'ukuri kw'Imana nibwo mwami buri wese azahabwa umugisha ndetse nibwo buri wese azabasha gushoboza kugeza undi kubona ijuru kuko mwami wadutumye ko buri wese ashoboza mugenzi we kuzabona ijuru ushimwe uhabwe icyubahiro uduha umugisha mu iteraniro ukomeza utwigisha ibitugira mu maro niko wadusezeranije icyubahiro ni kuzo bibya mu izina rya Yesu amen imani ba umugisha God
Tewe Wigo ganze murije Unyigishe Umindure Unyiyobore Weguri Nyange dose Ngenzu kushaka Mukawe Oh, yeah.